Hi folks, St. Paul Steam here with a little conversion I made to this uh, Ertel John Deere Waterloo Boy 1 16th scale tractor, uh, tractor engine. I took the uh, old casting, the uh, fake engine and transmission out and put a live steam engine in it. This is a Q4 made by a company called Microcosm out of China and the owner is a fellow named Jin and I really do like his stuff. I can really recommend anything he makes. Uh, He's a very reputable seller there in China. Uh, as you can see, this is running along real nicely. It's got about a 3 8 inch bore. I think it's 10 millimeters. Everything's in millimeters. Uh, one feature of it, it's got really nice roller ball bearings in the uh, bearing mounts there. And, uh, I chose this engine because it just seemed to fit perfectly for what I needed here. So let's give her a look around. Hang on, here we go. And I can uh, drive something off that pulley there if I want. Right now it's a static display. It's, it's not mobile. I can probably do that if I take some time to figure out the gearing. Nice crosshead cutout. And uh, I changed the stack on a little bit. And, and the intake for the steam, it will run on steam just fine as well. As you'll see in another video or two. And I got my steam port plumbed down to the rear of the tractor right here. It makes a nice little clicking noise and clatters over and uh, let's see, she's running on it's about the personal best right here. Just under three pounds. And it's got a few hours on it. And I'm um, really happy with it. It's different. This original track, tractor was a combustion engine. What a steam tractor. But it lent itself real well with the platform. And this is a precision model, so everything pretty much unscrewed, unbolted. I've got, I put a groove in that uh, drive crankshaft right there, and I can run my fan off of that. I've got to make a belt for that. That'll kind of give it a little better look. Even though a steam engine doesn't need a radiator. <laughs> but. Let's run her up. Let's say it's run just under three. There's five. And we'll go ten. 15, 20, 25, about all she's going to do, about to 20, she just runs as good as can be, it likes to be around 15 pounds real well, this is what that is right there, but she will move, but as we all know, we like them to run slow. Back down to around three pounds. And for a single, single cylinder, it's remarkably self-starting. It wants to start on its own. It has to be in both dead zones to absolutely refuse to uh, start on its own. So there you go. Thanks for looking, folks. And I uh, appreciate it. And uh, you have a nice day now. Bye.